My name is uh, Peter Bond and I'm a senior research scientist at CIDO AI in the Database Architectures Research Group. The Database Architectures Research Group focuses on the architecture of data systems. These include database systems, classical database systems, but currently it's a much broader class of systems that falls under this definition, for instance, systems used in data science as well. Anything that is of interest, algorithms, data structures, system architecture, but also system implementation, is the topic of research of this group. Data science is very important nowadays for many sectors of society. More and more processes become data dependent and depend on data analysis. So we are living in the so-called age of big data. And our group has been able to identify new opportunities that have been adopted on a broad scale. If you now look at the database systems landscape, then you see the influence of the CWI group very clearly. In particular, we are talking about compressed columnar storage and vectorized execution. These are techniques invented by PhD students of our group, and they are now part of almost every system that is popular. My name is Mark. I'm a PhD student here at the Database Architectures team. The field of database research is, of course, a very practical field because database systems are the foundation of many IT projects. And because of that, many large corporations are interested in our research and take research done and apply it in practice to improve their infrastructure. And they contribute as well. They have their own research teams doing database research. And we also routinely work together with those research teams and work on problems that they face in practice. Data science is a very hot topic. And the most popular framework currently for doing data science is Spark. Spark is a spin-off from Berkeley University. The company behind Spark is called Databricks. Spark is very widely used and very important techniques in Spark are data systems related or database related. And because of that, the Databricks founders started collaborating with the CWI group. My name is Patrick Wendell and I am a co-founder and VP Engineering of Databricks. So Databricks is a startup based originally in California that builds software for a large scale data processing. We knew very well of the CWI architecture research group from the MonetDB project and their vectorized research. So they were well known in this field and we originally reached out to them about a collaboration. And that ultimately became not only a research collaboration, but a founding of a Databricks office in Amsterdam. We really liked the fact that there's lots of technical talent in Amsterdam, as well as a strong university, and the CWI database group in particular is a very well-regarded group in this field. So it was uh, natural for us to want to start an office here that allowed for continued collaboration uh, and ability to attract talent. So what we do now is uh, we actually engage CWI on some of our most challenging architectural and design decisions, and that's, uh, that's gone very well, and, and we look forward to continuing that. Because the group builds significant software artifacts that are actually usable to solve data problems, there are these opportunities to do uh, spin-offs. MonetDB is, is a system that is famous in our group. It was originally created in the direction of Martin Kersten, who founded our group. MonetDB has now a spin-off called MonetDB Solutions. And we have also had a spin-off called uh, Vectorwise. And prior to that, we had a spin-off called Data Distilleries. There is a large demand for uh, data system software. There is actually also a market with large players like Oracle and IBM, but now also Google and Facebook and uh, Twitter. They all have significant investments in, in systems. And because of that, the field and our group is tightly connected with the data management industry. I would say if you're interested on working on real practical challenges and doing impactful research while also having very complete freedom in what you want to work on, that this is an excellent place to do your PhD.